And now they're going to go pushing into the B site. There's multiple players here. In fact, there's already three players waiting on this site, but they can't do anything to deny the plan. But they can stop them getting into aggressive positions and kicking it off with a man advantage. Make that another for Chopper, but Shiro just going ham. Two kills in response. He's looking for more. Seems to be aware of his opponent and gets him through the corner of the carriage. Gives his team a real chance. There's still the flank coming, but it has to be all Shiro. He needs to close this alone, and he might just do it. A fourth kill. He's looking for an ace. The man of 18 aces is going to get another in 2021. Unbelievable stuff from Shiro. And oh my god, what a way to end the map. You can see how much it means to them as well. They trailed after the first map on Inferno. It was a disappointing performance. Now can the cities hold shiro is there nafanai will go down shiro finding a first kill picking gets a second one Ooh, barely to get a third oh my god what a net shot for the wall that's a four kill round for shiro it was pretty insane damn just in case axial finds one but surrounded Pretty fastly, Inters finds one before going down. Now that's Shock and Neofrag, it's all on Shiro and Nafanai. Two versus three. Bomb planted. A first kill, now it's all on Shiro. Finding the flick of a Neofrag. One versus one, Shiro versus Oscar. The AVP of both of the teams are facing themselves. Oh, that jumps bait. That jump is good from Shiro. Now oh, he baits the defuse. Oscar pushing the smoke. Spotted. That's an Oscar of Shiro. What the hell? That's a one versus two clutch one. And the defuse around is for Gambit. Absolutely. And Shiro again the AWP. I'm really hoping we see a difference because so far. The last two rounds, it's been a 0% success rate with the AWP. This round, he will be tested towards B once more. And oh! That's a double that Shiro wanted. A third! The man's on a tear, looking for four. As the B defense, most certainly standing expectations. Shiro is a genius. On for four. Hobbit to steal the ace. But I said that man needed a big round. And oh my... Magic's talked about him anchoring B bomb sites across so many different maps. The team flash comes in and he capitalizes. Double from Magic's. Is it enough? Once again, the same kind of question being asked. Shiro on this orb. Anything is possible. Gets another in onto the Deagle. They've got to be careful as he keeps on going. Magic's has left it into the one on one. But Shiro, the absolute god, also oh, close, but he gets it done. The 4K coming in. As he puts the fear of God into spirit for sure. That looked like the best chance in a while. And Shiro snatches it away. So well played. How? Head off like it's nothing. And so now Shiro up through the short side. One versus three to try and find. And even though he's been great in clutches, this one might be a little too far gone. Peeks out with the orb. First man down. Electronic going to offer himself up as well. And now just Flamey. They know where he is. Shiro. No. Oh, caught with the knife in hand, but still alive. Still a threat. And looking to add another clutch sure to the tally. Does. It's up towards the A-bomb site. So little time. But he will have enough to get that bomb down, perhaps, as he rotates on in. It's going to be close. He's there with a second left on the clock. Bomb now planted. And Flamey throwing into the 1v1 versus the clutch king of Gambit. What a call, man. You could see the, the team call it like, oh, that's not the monster player that killed me. There's one more. And he, he doubles back. He even considers just staying for the fight. But after getting tagged, Shiro has escaped. And he could be anywhere. Flamey knows it. Speed is his prerogative as he moves in quickly through the toilets. All the noise for Shiro in the world. And he posts up for the clutch. It's going to leave B completely open. Inter's on a sneak back. This is going to be a bomb plant here towards default. Do they read it? Borup. No info to this, knows that Inter's made his way out, gets that kill. It's all going to remain on Shiro, the big green gun, getting a bit further forward. Oh, lands a shot. No, he misses. It returns back to his own right here. 
and now goes back towards the balcony here to try to fend from the apartments, keeping his eyes on shore and back to the bat lines. That Molotov burning a couple players very low here from the heroic side. Of course, he's got the bomb in his complete sight line. Very tight angle to hit, though. Sees him come in, sees the jump face. Second face from the Deagle, nade back to two points of health. They're on the bomb now. He's got to get there. He's got to get there. It's a 10 second defuse. Sees his man, takes out the first. He's back on four. <laughs> lands it and clutches it again for Gambit. That's eight rounds in a row for the Russians. It's another clutch, another clutch in the Perfectly from Axile. He's got the top spin and Shiro doesn't miss, barely flinches. He's taken down the long prong. And now it's just all coming from one direction. I'm not talking about the boy band. They will watch as the smoke fades. Shiro returns to bank. It's a passive setup from the CTs, but they have got three here, Chad. They're ready to receive. Axile anti-flash. It's going to be hard to break in here. Yep, close sight. Very hard to break in. Util would be great. Nafani's already been spotted, but that might bait them in. Oh dear, Zephyr, not ready. Good trade, Mezzi provides. Needs a second flop, he's there. It's just the Orpa now, but Shiro still hitting shots. No, another, the no scope and it's denied. They barely get the bomb down. Gambit posting a third. Oh, nice opening right there. And that nade over towards Long, it felt like they were well prepared for what Cloud9 were throwing their way. They did that front sight smoke to lurk up behind. But Gambit just tuck on in. They don't give away any easy kills and then trade efficiently on the bomb site. Three survived, two AKs picked up. The bomb down for Cloud9 makes things interesting. As the Long on it, they have to get past Shiro. He doesn't have any help right now. If they deny him a kill, this is on for Na'Vi. This is his shot. Now the pressure starting to mount. High flashes in response, but Flamey's closed the gap. Oh, what? what? That from Shiro. A blind no scope into the smoke, and he's got another. Just simple. And the flicks <laughs> are there as well. Shiro, you're an animal. Four frags from the Orpa takes Gambit to close the gap completely. Oh, uh, no scope at that range. Never seen that. Spe what? Especially on the A take. He just didn't want to linger too much up on the box. <laughs> All right, mate. All right. <laughs> what is that? Oh, boy. Well, Gambit really do want that overtime, and you wouldn't believe what Na'Vi are going to be forced in to buy here. It's Tech Nines, Mac. One in Catwalk for Whizzler to try and contest this. Just useful to be thrown to deter any aggression, but Hades with a lineup here. They may even line up for him. He's only good for one as Shiro does find the refrag. Without AWP, you can't really transfer onto another player. You don't really have that potential with multiple bullets at a time, like an AK-47. But the aggression will still go on here for the Gambit side. Going towards this A-ramp, and Shiro finding a nice little frank out of nowhere through the smoke onto Goofy. 2v3. As they do try and get the bomb planted, they do indeed. Shiro holding down the line for the A alongside. Hobbit on Catwalk. Nothing that was Cracker can do. And this was... Three versus two, all the better for Gambit as Axile spots the man towards CT, gets Ooh. caught out by the AWP, a second foul, Mir gonna drop into his head for the AWP, Shiro, one versus two, what? drops towards CT for a second, and oh my goodness, if he goes towards B, the biggest brain move, and he will be. This man is a genius, SDY won't know a thing about this situation, finally Shiro gonna let loose on the shift key, and Gambit teeing up for nine as the bomb set in stone towards the b-bomb site that's an insane play by shiro as he drops down i definitely go for to see if there's enough time on the clock i i was thinking the round is coming to an end he needs to find the frag and that's why he's jumping down but that's an insane play by shiro and he can now be anywhere oh. sdy has no chance p250 in hand gets taken out by shiro. and again it's the clutch situation that shot from Spiddy was outrageous. Didn't even look like he was peering at that part of the site, but took the head off 2v2. And now Axel is coming in. They've had lots of chances, Gambit, in this round to shut it down. But Favon holds the line at range. And it seems that B site will become a nightmare one more time. A reoccurring nightmare. But now Shiro is looking to put Sprout to oh! bed. And with ease, he flicks across Favon from hero to zero and Gambit from six to seven. I, I've got nothing. I've genuinely got nothing. How does he win that? Like, that's the one clutch they should have won. <laughs> of all the ones they've had, that's the one they should have won. And instead, Shiro just puts the BS meter all the way to full. This second shot was so sick. How does he correct his aim in time? How does Faven not get that kill? 
doing exactly what Poison couldn't do in the first half. Holding yeah. the line, grabbing that first kill, then moving away, putting Gambit once more in an advantageous position. 5v4, 15 rounds. They only need one to put that first map on their belt to push complexity. The back's against the wall. Inside's been tested in the past, and they always pass with flying colors. Shiro once again oh. with the kill. He's doing it all. He's gonna peek again because why not? He's got the confidence and he's got the kill as well. It's only Blame F and Poison, two versus five, with the hopes of NA and Europe and everyone, but it's not gonna be enough, James, is it? They have got it all going from Shiro on for the ace, but guess who's coming from behind? The family comes in to close it out. It is a 16-5 victory for Gambit Ooh. on their map pick of train, and they...